So we are dipping and this is level three. And you'll notice that the higher you go in level sometimes, the more simple the movement becomes. And what we're gonna focus on here in level three is performing a dip with no band that should be unassisted. And you should be able to do one or two or even three eventually 50 of these. But if you have one, you're good enough to be able to focus on what I'm gonna teach you. And what I'm gonna teach you is taking your pushing mechanics that we developed in the push-up in phase one and applying it to the dip seen on the bars. So from here, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump up. Once I have my support, I'm gonna go down to the dip. And what I want you to notice is that the dip is not something that goes straight down. Notice what happens to the elbows and the shoulders, gets into a bad position. I even start shaking a little bit. There needs to be a lean. Notice the lean. I'm gonna lean forward and I'm gonna create an angle. And then from there, I'm gonna press out. That lean actually allows me to one, clear the shoulder, meaning the shoulder is traveling first, the same way we were doing for the push-up. Another thing that you'll notice is that as you go down and you're leaning forward, you're putting less stress on the shoulder. And it's giving you a little bit of swing to get up. Now, swinging is not bad. It's natural. You can slow the swinging down by moving slower, but if you just let the body move, especially when you get into the workouts, you will notice that swinging is normal and you can actually take advantage of it to move into higher levels. And this is when we start seeing transitions from phase two into phase three. Master the strict movement, get into the kipping and swinging later but just know that it's natural and it comes together. So don't shut it down, just let it be and know that your body is smart and you just need to keep developing it and know where you are at all times.